Hi guys. Hi. Hello. I really enjoyed this film. Good. Uh, the depth of it, the the atmosphere is astounding. For you guys playing the two friends who basically are the only two that really aren't split apart, did you get a chance to hang out first and kind of build a relationship, or was it all just right there on screen, or well, how we, did that? We, we shot in uh, Romania, in the uh, Carpathian Mountains, Transylvania specifically, and uh, we had a few days before we started shooting in Bucharest, right, where we hung out a little bit. Yeah, you sent me an email before we came over, you sent the group an email, that was nice. I did. But there was no time before we started. We had a little bit before Telling we them not filming to look me start. in the eye and don't, yeah, don't, don't just try and, try and keep small talk to a minimum. Uh, and the etiquette of the bowing system and stuff like that is very right. quite complicated. It's complicated, it needs an email. Did He's you very know? thorough about that. I am. Um, good good, good uh, use of the American pronunciation of thorough. Yeah, you know what I mean. <laughs> mm. yeah, yeah. Uh, no, but we know we 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 it was uh, we didn't have a huge budget, so we hit the ground running and mm. uh, immediately kicked off a camaraderie. All got on. There was mm. no massive egos, and we all wanted to m make the best of a potentially difficult situation, which was being out in 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 the in the middle of nowhere with a group of people that you never met before. Right. Which of course is one of the great joys of what we do. But mm. it was um, a, an adverse situation that we made the best of and uh, had a great time doing. Is it, I mean, it almost seems like you did what the characters do to some extent, being out that far. Was it actually difficult? It was difficult. I mean, he went home for a while. It was really easy for me. I only had like, I think I had like eight days, and then I had two and a half weeks off, and then came back for two. Yeah. So probably should talk to Ray about the <laughs> No, it was, it was difficult, because, you know, we were there in the, in the middle of nowhere. It was really cold, right. um, uh, m mostly night shoots. Mm. Uh, and you, as I said, you, you, you can... That could be a situation which could be troubling and can make you miserable and grumpy, mm. or you can really embrace it. And uh, Eric, the whole crew did the latter. We all really embraced it and made the best of um, a situation that could have been terrible. Um, but it was, uh, I came away from it thinking, thinking, feeling like it was a really rewarding experience. For you guys as actors, would you say that the creature is more terrifying than the people, or the people are more terrifying? Because there's that aspect of humanity being almost as bad as the monsters, the monster. You mean the people in the film? Yeah. Oh, I don't get to meet any because you right. know what I mean. I'm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm um, but as a person, <laughs> would you say like, do you do you find the idea of the the creature and its, I guess, feel a big that, twiggy beast scares yeah. you? But Jesus, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be I'll be honest with you. I'd rather face a human mm. than a big, random. Branchy beast. But I think in some way it, 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 it's an interesting question because I think that, that the monster, depending on which viewing you, you have of the film or how you look at it, is a personification of fear and evil in some way, um, which uh, is of course, um, it, 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 it's personified. So the, the evil of human beings, I guess, could be seen as being... Um, this monster, but I don't know. It depends how, how deep you want to get on it. Does the beast even exist? Does it exist in our minds? Exactly. Right. And is he confronting his fear? I don't know. Did when, I didn't read the script. <laughs> <laughs> when you guys were out there, did, what did they say that you're facing? Because obviously you wouldn't see what the final. No, no. We saw like. they, they they did a they did a they built the head. Right. So when I beat that, when I when I kill that beast at the end, which is worth saying. I, Listen, he nails that. Mother. I nail it. I nail it. I nail it. I put an axe, <laughs> put an axe straight oh, in his head. They built the, they built their head. Rolls. And you know those weird arms that it's got on its face. There was a stump woman um, using her arms as the arms. So you know, I got up close and personal with that, with that thing for well, a long time. At least you can actually picture what it actually looks yeah, like. Yeah, but the, but it's that's one of the good things about this film. It's an original monster, and we saw drawings of it and stuff. I, I, I've still not seen the film, hmm. so. Uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what it looks like. Do you guys, I mean, when you finish something like this, do you want to do more horror, or how do you finish off a film like this? Are you like reluctant? What What's the next step for you for that? Just didn't feel like you know. It, it, sure, there's a monster in this film, but there was lots of just guys talking in a forest. Right. So to us, we, I approached it like a drama, and it mm. was like, a, or a comedy. It was like it, it didn't feel like doing a horror film, right. except for when there was uh, that big old beast head. But it just. Uh, yeah, I'd love to do more horror if the script's good and it's original and it's got something to say, then sure. 
Yeah, I, 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 I agree with, with Ray. <laughs> <laughs> he said lazily. <laughs> well, the last thing I want to know is what did the director tell you guys? Was there any particular stuff that he was working with you on to, to bring out? Yeah, I think he was, you know, this was an exploration of, of, of modern masculinity, what it is to be a man, what, what it is to be someone who, uh, a, a, to, to be a group of friends that are, are coming into a stage of their lives when they're drifting apart. There's mm. lots of things to look into that we were exploring. Um, and uh, he was keen on that, but he was very—he was just—he's a great captain, David uh, Bruckner, and I think he's someone who's going to be able to branch out from this genre and do lots of different movies because he's—he's he's all over it. He's incredibly bright and uh, prepared and brilliant, and um, hopefully, he's created something original. Did he give you particular? Yeah, well, it was—it was that idea of you know society's built up an image, um, a perception of what masculinity is, but the reality. Is, that's what I call in like ideal masculinity, but the reality is when you're in a high pressure situation and you see this in the film, um, roles of masculinity change, adopt and disappear, um, and you see the true um, concept of masculinity, I think, uh, mm -hmm. and, and that's something that lads don't ever want to talk about. We've always got to be strong, we're not, you know, we don't want to talk. They never speak to each other really much in the film about their, their fears and fright, right. and Hutch particularly is sort of the self-proclaimed alpha male, he's the guy who, who does this regularly and, and he sort of refuses to admit the bizarre goings on. And that's, again, rooted in masculinity or the, the perception of it. And he just blinkers on, I'm not gonna show any sort of fear or sp uh, speak to the other guys about it. And then it just gradually all, it all it erodes and you just see the infighting and the true sort of um, pressure situation, what it unveils in people. And yeah. then you get disemboweled and put in a tree. And you get the disemboweled and, and put in a tree. Mm. That's what you get. <laughs> hung, hung by a jock, jock strap 30 feet up mm. in a Norwegian spruce, I think it was. <laughs> I could be wrong on that. Thank you guys very Thank much you. for your time. I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you.